in IIT foundation maths so in this video I explain you the type of fractions so there are some type of fractions so in this I will explain you approximately around 10 type of fractions now the first one is proper fraction the first type of fraction is proper so in this complete video I'll explain you approximately 10 fractions so 10 types you will see now first proper fraction the definition right a fraction whose numerator is lesser or is less than is denominator but condition is but not equal to 0 so this condition you are important is called a proper fraction So according to the condition, a proper fraction whose numerator is less than denominator. So if you write example and the condition is here but not equal to 0, it should not be 0 also. 1 by 2. So 1 is the numerator and 2 is the denominator. So numerator is lesser than denominator. And 2 by 7 or some 11 by 20 etc so we can write any example any fraction you should take numerator is lesser than denominator that is called proper fraction now next is improper fraction so in improper fraction same proper fraction definition but we can take reverse in improper fraction a fraction whose numerator is is equal to or greater than its denominator a fraction whose numerator is equal to or greater greater than its denominator is called an improper fraction equal or greater so both conditions are there you can observe here the numerator is equal to or greater than to the denominator now example 7 divided by 8 so numerator is 7 by 8 numerator is lesser than denominator so this is actually proper now you should take numerator is greater than denominator that means 8 by 7 now this you can take for example previous 8 by 7 anything 21 by 4 or even if you write some 16 by 16 also we can take it as a fraction but it is a equal or greater this also we can call it as an improper fraction itself so 16 by 16 if both are same obviously it's 1 no, it's a number. If any number is there, we can make it as denominator also 1. Mostly we can see this numerator is greater than its denominator. Now that is a improper fraction. Now next, the mixed fraction. Third one is mixed fraction. 
so in this uh, heading only you can see the mixed so we have to mix a number which consists two parts that is natural and proper so both we can take that will be refreshing a number which consist of two parts that is one is a natural number and two a proper so proper fraction is called mixed so two parts we can take this first one is a natural number and second is a proper fraction this is together if we write then that is a mixed fraction example no two is a natural number then three by four is a proper fraction because numerator is lesser than denominator then four three by seven and you can write 18 9 by 17 so etc so these are the examples for mixed fraction again the mixed fractions we can convert so I'll write conversion here if any mixed fraction is there we can convert into improper fraction again now for example first one is 2 3 by 4 this we can write 4 into 2 plus 3 by 4 what was the 6 6 plus 3 so 9 by 4 we can write similarly this also these two we have to multiply 7 into 4 plus the numerator divided by again the denominator in the proper fraction 31 by 7 so in mixed fraction we can convert into improper fractions and improper also we can convert into mixed so next type they are the main important first three then we have other uh, fractions using this we can make some more one is like fractions so let me write here then one more type is like fractions so like fractions I'll write direct examples so like fractions is which equal denominators are called like fractions that is equal denominators equal denominators example 3 by 11 4 by 11 9 by 11 no these are all like fractions because the denominators are equal now like fractions is uh, just opposite is unlike If unlike fractions 3 by 11 and 2 by 13 so denominators are different this you can take it as a unlike fractions now some more types are some more types are there a reciprocal fraction So in reciprocal fraction, reciprocal is just uh, making numerator denominator and denominator to the numerator. Now for example, reciprocal of 3 by 5 is 5 by 3. So reciprocal of k is 1 by k. Reciprocal of 1 by n is n by 1. So that is equals to n itself. So these are the reciprocal fractions we can take into numerators to denominator and denominator to numerator interchange next other type is a compound fraction in compound fractions we'll write the combination of two fractions 
a fraction of fraction is called compound. Fraction of a fraction. I'll explain with example. 1 by 3 of 1 by 2. So what how we can write this? 1 by 3 into 1 by 2. That is equal to 1 by 6. But making like this, there is nothing but compound. The combination. Next other type. A complex fraction. So in this complex fraction, if the numerator or denominator or both of the fractions are again fractions, then it's called a complex. So numerator and denominator, both should be fractions. So example, 2 by 3 by some 7 by 8. So like this example, numerator should be fraction denomination fraction or at least one of them even you can write 2 by 3 by 7 or 1 by 2 by some 3 so numerator or denominator or both if there are fractions then that is a complex fraction then uh, one more type this last type this is a continued fractions So continued fraction in that definition only or in the heading only the meaning is there. A continued fraction consists of fractional denominators. It's a fractional denominators. So example 1 plus 1 by and some 2 plus 3 by again 4 plus 1 by 2. So like this continuation. This type of examples we can take it as a continued fractions so you can write 3 plus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2 so like this we can continue infinite times also this type is uh, continued fractions so these are the type of fractions now if the decimal numbers into decimal fractions also we can convert so conversion of I'll explain here one more conversion of decimal numbers into decimal fractions for example 23.6 this I am converting decimal numbers into decimal fraction always into fractions so numerator and denominator now 23.6 that you can write 236 by 10 if you observe here, just after point, one digit. So we should take remove, remove the point, divide by 10. For example, 4.57. So we can write 457 by 100. Because there is a two digits after point. 0 0.1887. And we can write after point, there is a four digits, right? So 1887, completely remove the point. Then how many digits are there after point? That means zero so keep after one in the denominator place. So in this way you can convert even decimal numbers also into the fractions. Okay, so these are the type of fractions. So I'll explain you some more uh, similar questions and the num uh, problems which are related to the fractions. They all you can find out this in this following website. This foundation for IIT.com. So once you go through this website and you please subscribe this channel because I'll upload completely which are educational videos only. So it's easy for you. And if you go through this website, you'll find out many links which are related to ICSC, CBSC, SSC, and Inter. Apart from that, you'll find out the IIT Foundation complete videos and including notes which is completely free. I hope you understood well and thank you for watching.